Welcome back, Mac Warriors. It's on to the second of the loyalty mechs that I'll be trying out today, the Cicada 3F variant. Um, basically, this was a case of leave well enough alone, Christian. I tried doing something crazy. Um, I tried going two PPCs and uh, downgrading the engine to, I think it was an XL250 that I bought. Which I'm regretting now. Yeah, <clears throat> it was an XL250 with two ER PPCs, and it ran insanely hot. It was pretty quick. Um, didn't quite have the speed that it naturally comes with, but I figured trading speed, since it jumps so well with the six jump jets, it it just it flies. It really does fly. Um, I figured yeah, it'd be a good compromise, but unfortunately, it just runs insanely hot. If you drop the engine cap down to 250, it runs insanely hot. So, yes, you know, you get more alpha, but your ability to sustain the damage is basically non existent because you get like three shots and then you just sit there the rest of the match. Pretty awful. <clears throat> so, basically, um, I'm going to be running the mech more or less as it came built with a XL 320. Six jump jets. I uh, put three small lasers as backup weapons to the PPC, and primarily this mech is gonna hop around and pop people with PPCs and annoy the shit out of them, and try to pull them off the firing line to chase the flying squirrel. Oh, that's what I should call it, flying squirrel. Yes. Thank you guys. You always give me the best ideas. Hmm. Close enough. Not enough spaces. Not enough room for characters, but yeah, well there. Flying square. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna play the mech as just the jump sniping, harassing um, mech, and hopefully it works out pretty good and is fun. You know, it's not gonna be meta, but I think this is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun to play. So um, let's get to it, and hopefully we can make something happen. All right, here we go. A uh, couple things I forgot to mention in the mech lab. The mech comes with some quirks like medium laser, uh, cycle cooldown of 15%, just a generic energy-based cooldown of 15% as well. And then you've got um, energy-based heat generation of 12.5% and a ERPPC specific heat generation of 12.5%. So, um, yeah, those are the quirks it's packing, in addition to the, I guess, the run of the mill cicada like leg structure quirks that you usually see. Let's see the action camera. Pop some shots. Yeah, turn fast. Target acquired. Acquired. New target acquired. Fuel at 25%. New target acquired. Target destroyed. Ooh. Cool. Cool. Take two sloppy seconds any day. But as you can see, the pack jumps really well. Fall damage is real. Target acquired. 
nice one. Fuck, I'm terrible. Down Juliet. What was with these LRMs after the patch? Oh, how are y'all dying? Target acquired. Beating at 25%. Right leg critical damage. Fucking LRM 80 stalker. Are you for real, dude? This is fucking garbage. I can't hear you. I'm getting shot at. Target acquired. Basically, a bunch of people were being pussies. So, don't spread out, run New around. Target acquired. If there's no mass car, they weren't chasing us. Also, the strategy was shit because you were a dipshit and ran to data in a big, heavy, fat neck. Dumb. Don't do that. Ha <laughs> ha bitch take it take it uh, totally boned fucking LRM 100 stalker are you for real fucking joke target man target acquired here you little bitch god just... new target acquired That's all she wrote, folks. So, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of people being retarded and dying to LRM boats. Um, possibly also some jump sniping skill, but mostly the death to LRM boats. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Alright, as you can see, guys, honestly, uh, the mech's not meta, clearly. Um, but it is fun as hell to play. Like, jump sniping kids with PVCs is just ridiculously good fun. Um, if you could mount two ERPPCs somehow and make it not overheat, it'd be fantastic. It would actually probably hold its own, but for right now it's just a fun mech to play. Um, Semi-effective, given the right circumstances, but, you know, yeah. <laughs>
loyalty mech. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that match, and I'll see you next time.